got to enable deaths. No! This must be rectified. Alright, activate TTS. TTS bridge connected. Activate Unity Overlay. Fireballs engage. Lack of fireballs. Initiating manual override. Changing direction. <laughs> Rotating fireballs. We'll never see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Unity projects. Desktop overlay. Configurable. Settings. Enable. Counter. True. Counter value. Zero. Reload. Point. Excellent. Out of that, we got this. We got the don't touch the artwork, which of course we're gonna do. Um, <laughs> what was the other one? It was like ba Bakaru or something like that. Yeah, that's not right. No, oh, that was it. Nailed it. Oh, was it Gomon's? It's not a great adventure. Gomon, N64. Mystical Ninja Gomon, there it is. There it is. Is there a trailer? There's no way there's like a trailer, right? Okay, all right, so here's what we got, boop. And we got, please don't touch the artwork, which. I'm trying to remember the name, it was like X, T, no, uh. It wasn't PT. What was the, yeah, there's, there's your fireball. Hi, Rose. What was the name of the, the, the museum game where we like touched all the things? I was trying to remember the name. Oh, oh, hold on. It might be XT. XT? Uh, I'm not seeing it. PT? It wasn't PT. Ah, what was the name of it? Like Friendship Simulator or something like that? I'm still not seeing it there. Was it like friend? No, okay. XT. I'm gonna keep trying again. Still not there. Mm, it wasn't DT. Man, Damon. Oh wait, why don't we just go to the website? That'd be smart. <laughs> uh, I still don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> It was a hot while ago. It was before Hi-Fi Rush. Before Grotto. Q. 
QT. Oh my gosh. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Please touch the artwork. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Remember the game? You have like a little extendy arms, and then we we went to the museum, and then it was just it became instead of like <laughs> instead of find your friends, I was just like touch all the artwork. I just touch it. <laughs> So whenever I saw the name of this game, it's like, please touch the artwork. I'm like, maybe we need to play this someday. These <laughs> are like little extendy arms. It was hilarious. It's just funny to poke things. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. No, 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 bring it back. Bring it back to the museum. It was a very strange game. <laughs> QT was. I enjoyed the museum. I'm not sure I enjoyed the other parts, but I enjoyed the museum. I'm not sure I understand how this one works. Oh, is it like that? No, no, okay, I have no idea how this works. I just wanted a boogie boogie. This white square started popping up. What the? <laughs> yeah, less frustration than the witness. X to fucking no. <laughs> I did. It looks like you just kind of like, well, I guess you just touch things. You just like figure it out. It doesn't look, there's, look like there's too much rhyme or reason. I just want you to please touch the artwork. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> hey there. My name is Tom. Hi. Thomas Waterzoo, and I'm the developer of Please Touch the Artwork. What would happen if you did touch the artwork? That's the question I wanted to explore in this game. This resulted in three unique narrative puzzle experiences, all inspired mm -hmm. by art movement, the style, and more specifically paintings from Pete Mondrian. Make no mistake thinking this is a serious game that explains every detail of the art of Mondrian. It's more about the yeah, enjoyment okay, right, yeah. of the visuals, the music, and the stories behind the paintings, together with a little bit of cozy puzzling. Game number one tells you about the creation of abstract it's art just a goof off using game. a story inspired on the Genesis story from the Bible. Instead of creating the earth, we'll be creating a canvas and primary colors. Let me quickly fast forward so you can see some more of the levels. Game number two tells the story of Boogie and Woogie, two squares who just want to be together, but a rapidly growing world is making this harder and harder. You'll have to help Woogie reach Boogie by figuring out how the obstacles influence Woogie's path. Okay, okay. Let me quickly fast forward again. Game number three. It's a visual poem about moving to the big city full of excitement and high hopes, only to be overwhelmed with mixed emotions. From joy and excitement to feeling homesick and missing your friends and family. Please touch the artwork is all about relaxing. There's no time pressure, no skills required. You can play in short sessions. No skills required. The game won best art at Tokyo Game Show, most impact at Brazilian indie developer game conference, and was featured. I see what they did there. 
listed by Eurogamer and news outlet The Guardian in the top 20 games from 2022 so far. So I'm very grateful for that and I hope it might convince some of you to buy and play it. Thanks for your support. Cheers. <laughs> Really? Hey, Quadratic. <laughs> High five, let's go. My mic sound a little bassy. I I might be a little bassy right now, to be honest with you. I'm about to add, that that might actually just be me today. That might be me today, Chad. I can try fixing it though, but most likely it's just me. Hi, Snow. Have confidence. Okay. All right, so I saw this and then I started watching it. As I was watching this, this is the story of another Japan. I was like, wow, this looks a lot like another Damn. game. A world different from the one you live in. And the more I watched it, the more I was like, there's no way. There's no way it's not influenced by that. Unlike in your world, fairy tale heroes actually exist. This is the story of Bakiru's first adventure in that world. Many ninjas? It was not many ninjas. Granted, I haven't played many ninjas, so actually I can't 100% say that. But it was like, the way the character, what the hell, this? Was like, the, wait, wait that, hold on. And then it was like, flying machines? Weird puzzles? Hold, hold on. And it was, hold on, wait for it. It was like, the different mode, hold on. And then right here, this was the moment that I was like, all right, there's no way. There's no way this isn't like either by or inspired them. So I got to the end of that and I was like, that reminds me of oh, Mystical Ninja Gomon for the Nintendo 64. Right, let's I see how much this we get. Every N64 game, and I mean all of them. Good luck, sir. Is the next, just like real life. All, this all right, so in Gomon, you play as Gomon as the main character, but also and and uh, Gomon's not the only character that you play as. 
After climbing a bit, I'm also in Gomon, you have this shenanigans. And Power Rangers. Also, it plays a song here that is an absolute banger. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't play the song for you because it'll get my video flagged. But if you want no, to look it up, play the song. Dash, dash, dash. So you go to a section where you transform into a giant freaking robot and then you fight like some bosses. This segment where the robot is riding rollerblades down the valley. There's tanks and flying robots along the way and I can whack so we do that and we work our way to the boss. Also there's jump but there's and then you actually fight like another boss in the giant mech robot and I was like this has to be inspired by it. there's no way that was just coincidence no it turns out yeah no apparently this is uh this is inspired by I don't know if it's the original crew or not but it's a spiritual successor to the Gomon series I was like oh that's so good and uh yeah whenever he like started doing like little transformations and stuff hi Savak Where is it? Did we show it? Yeah, yeah. So we have like we have other characters in the game. Use to summon him as a dragon at any time. This will allow us to fast travel to any town, village. Oh, there he is. Room starts. All right, here's our second character. Collect he eats food. That's like his gimmick that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but there's other characters. Like where is she? There she is. There's this lady. Uh, who can Barely swim like and I think shrink if I remember right which in the the trailer you could also shrink on that and then there's like a little ninja guy and he does uh, he also has like special abilities but it seems like instead of having the the alternative characters uh, this one went for like the transformation route good luck with the meeting Chad But yeah, I saw that. And this reminded me of the bits of uh, Mystical Ninja Go Man, and there's Gomon's Great Adventure, which was more of a side scroller. Yeah, just side scroller with the same crew. Same crew as the. Thing that many people can agree change yeah, right to there. To master playing. Sasuke. I remember playing him a lot. I remember playing these two a lot. And then Gomon, and then poor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you get the side scroller section, and you get the side scroller section. They the characters even like kind of look similar outside of the hair. But the hair even matches like the color scheme, so yeah. <laughs> I only ever saw it to rent, and never, I don't think we ever rented it. Probably should have though, because it was multiplayer. Alright, but that's everything I wanted to show off. <laughs> that's all I got for today. So instead, go play Planet Freedom. Mmm! Mmm!